This channel's been a bit motone poor so far this year, but we're going to fix all that in a moment. First of all, this lockdown from last Monday, it's permissible to go out for the purposes of recreation rather than just for exercise. And it's had me scratching my head a bit. I'll be honest, I'm getting to the stage where I've pretty much exhausted all the B-roll that I can use on this channel. I desperately need to get out and do some proper filming. But the rules are just not clear. You can go surfing, you can go swimming at the beach, but they keep putting this proviso on that, providing it's in your local area. What do you call a local area? Five miles? Ten miles? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Now, before we get started proper, please, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. It takes just a couple of seconds of your time. And if you decide you don't like the content on this channel, it only takes a couple of seconds to unsubscribe. Right, so Moton Customs. As you're aware, I do a little bit of prototype testing for Moton Customs. So I've got a few prototypes to show you and a new product that is available for the Airco Bonnevilles. And it just so happens that while I was filming this video, right at the back of a garage in the corner, I found an air-cooled Triumph T100, so I can actually show you how to fit that product. But let's start with the liquid-cooled Bonnevilles first. Now, unless you're new to the concept of customising a Triumph Bonneville, or you've never heard of Moton Customs before. You will know that Moton Customs are the only custom seat manufacturer in the world to manufacture their custom seats using exactly the same manufacturing techniques as the original motorcycle manufacturers, i.e. painstakingly design them on a CAD program, manufacture the necessary tooling and then injection mould them precisely using ABS. If you're making a premium custom seat, that is, in my opinion, the only way to do it. And all custom seat manufacturers, except Motown Customs, avoid it because it takes a long time and it's horrendously expensive. And generally speaking, what you end up with is something that looks pretty damn good once it's been fitted, but it can be a bit of a pain to fit. And you often risk some sort of damage to the actual bike itself because of the materials that they're made from. Now, I know from speaking to Sam at Moton that their multi-purpose seat pan has taken something like three years to develop and get into production. Triumph have purposely put an odd sort of bend into the seat rail on the new Bonnevilles. There's no logical reason for it except to discourage custom seat manufacturers from making seats for their bikes because it requires a lot more time and resources to get it right. Now I showed you their Rattler concept last year. It was the first iteration of their custom seats for the liquid cold twins. A seat which I believe has proven to be pretty popular. And the remarkable thing about these seats compared to other seat manufacturers is despite the premium grade manufacture of the seat pans, in general, they work out to be about the same price as other manufacturers. Now, Moton have achieved this by cleverly designing the seat pan in a way so that it can be trimmed down to accommodate different seat designs. So this means that they can use the same mold 
to make the same seat pan and then just trim the seat pan down in order to make different style seats. That allows them to get maximum use out of the moulds and keeps the cost down for the customer. Now, Merton released a range of seats for the air cooled Bonnevilles two or three years ago. And among the seat designs that they released was a seat called the Crate. This seat was a runaway success and, you know, to listen to Sam, they cannot keep them in stock. And obviously, they wanted to repeat that success with the Liquid Cold Twins. And I think it was late last year I showed you this, their first iteration of the Liquid Cold Crate. A crate, by the way, is a type of venomous snake. Motown name all of their seats after well-known snakes. Now, the problem with the prototype that you're looking at here is that it was a little bit too long. Personally, I thought it was okay, but Sam's a bit of a perfectionist, and aesthetically, he decided it needed shortening. With a little bit of meat taken off the back, and some taken off the front to make sure that it doesn't contact the seat, which I have to admit does look a lot better, but... Motown are not happy with the aesthetics of that bend in the seat rail and in their opinion it doesn't conform properly to the original concept of the crate. So they've had a bit of a rethink and they've decided to go back to the drawing board with the crate concept for the liquid cooled twins to create a flatter version that avoids that bend in the bottom of the seat. So this seat which is still going to go into production has been renamed the Viper. There is still a little bit of tweaking required before Moton are happy with it, but I will let you know in a month or so's time when they do finally hit the shelves. Now, before we change the subject completely and move on, I just want to talk about seat catch maintenance. It's becoming more and more frequent getting complaints and queries from people whose seat catches are starting to get a bit sticky. Now, I've heard everything from complaints that people can't get the seat catch unlocked and take the seat off, or they take the seat off and can't get it to engage back in again, or they've bought a new seat from somewhere and they're having problems getting the new seat to engage in the lock. Just like any other mechanical device, your seat catch mechanism needs to be maintained. It's not maintenance free. Now, you should be removing your seat and drying and cleaning underneath your seat every time you wash your bike. If you don't, you are lining yourself up for some sort of seizure. And as part of your regular maintenance regime, at least once a year, you should be cleaning and re-lubricating or re-greasing your locking mechanism to maintain long-term ease of use. And if or whenever you decide to buy a replacement or custom seat, whether it's from Triumph, Moton or anyone else, you should always carry out this procedure prior to fitting, including putting some grease on the locking pin on the seat. The mechanism and the locking pin on your old seat become worn over time. So when you put a new seat on, Engagement of the new pin requires a little bit of lubrication and assistance. It's just common sense really, if you don't maintain these things you will encounter problems with them. Right, so let's have a look at a couple of bits for the air cooled twins now. You might remember about three years ago, Motone released the Streamliner sprocket covered for the Air Cooled Twins and I fitted the chrome version to the Payday Project bike which has stood the test of time really well, it still looks like new. Now shortly after that they bought out a black version and they're both constructed using high pressure die cast techniques. Now this version is a prototype that Motone are playing around with Basically, it's the same product, but they're now looking at a black version with a contrast cut on the fins. Sam reckons it's not quite ready yet. They've still got some experimentation to do before they're going to be happy with the final finish. But this image should give you an idea of what they're aiming at. And last but not least, this is the Talon from Motone. Once again, high pressure die cast from aluminium. Now, these are already available and I will leave links in the video description down below. The Air Cold Twins have a particularly unsightly actuator for the clutch. 
and the older these bikes get the nastier that actuator starts to look and this talon has been designed as a pocket friendly easy fit solution to that problem it's been cast to fit very precisely over the actuator hiding all that ugliness and fitting literally takes about a minute courtesy of a grub screw at either side that lock it firmly in place and as you would expect from Merton, it comes complete with an Allen key just in case you don't have the right size on hand. Now, I don't have any information on what finishes are going to be available in the future. Certainly for now, they've just got this contract cut version and a standard matte black version. Fitting is really simple. The only thing I would say is just make sure that you wind the grub screws in evenly on both sides to make sure it centers properly. Although realistically the way it fits on is so precise, I doubt you would be able to fit it off center. For a part like this, I think it might be sensible to use a medium strength Loctite on those threads, just in case the grub screws work loose. But I think overall they are a very elegant solution to what is a bit of an ugly problem, especially as these bikes get older. Now before I go, Sam asked me to let people know that the X pipes for the water cool twins are back in stock. Apparently they've not had them on the shelves for a few weeks. And don't forget, viewers of this channel get an exclusive 12% discount by means of a discount code in the video description down below. Now, both myself and Sam keep getting emails from people who can't be bothered to watch my videos wanting to know what the latest discount code is for something that they want to buy from Moton's site. First of all, that is the height of bad manners. And secondly, it's a channel discount. It's a discount available to people that watch this channel. I don't know of any other ways I can possibly put it. I put the latest code in the video description of each Moton related video that I make. If you don't watch my videos, you don't get the channel discount. End of story. So please stop emailing myself and Sam asking us what the latest channel discount code is. You might find the response offensive. Right, once again, thank you so much for watching this and my other videos and in doing so helping to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. I am, of course, going to be back on Friday. So until then, please ride safely and I'll see you soon.